Hey guys, so today's video I want to show you how to make money on YouTube for free. So stick around because if you're a beginner especially, it's going to be very useful for you because I'm going to take you step by step exactly how you can start a business online using YouTube to drive traffic without needing to spend any money at all up front. So if you haven't been to our channel before, my name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. Go ahead and hit the subscribe and the notification bell if you want more videos like this. And if you want to understand how to start a real business online, go ahead and look at the link in the description below and I'll take you through the whole process. So in this video, I want to go through a number of things. I'm going to go through an overview where I'm going to take you through some of the key things that you need to do when you want to start a business on YouTube. So I'm going to show you some free resources you can start with straight away. Again, the aim of this video is to show you something that you can actually start completely for free. So the second thing I'm going to talk about is YouTube money. I'm going to give you some examples of the ways that you can actually make money on YouTube for free. So you can go ahead and do all of these methods straight away. All you need to do is a little bit of research and you can be up and running very, very quickly. Then I'm going to show you where to find those offers. So we're going to go onto the web and I'll actually show you some sites that actually have these offers that you can go and grab and then start building content for. And then I'm gonna give you some of my secrets to success when we're talking about doing anything for free on the internet. So I wanna give you an overview of the types of things you need to consider when we're building our YouTube business. So the first thing we wanna do is obviously set up our channel. Now, technically setting up a channel isn't that difficult, but there is some considerations we need to do before we go ahead and actually start working inside our channel. So we need to choose a niche. So we need to think about how what our channel looks like in two months time three months time a year's time do we want to be only focusing on a very very small subject in that channel or do we want to make that niche quite broad so i could have a channel like this one it's kind of focused on a range of subjects so it gives me a lot of options about the types of things i talk about or you could have a channel that's just very specific say just on email marketing and that was all i ever talked about and it gives me a lot less flexibility about the types of things i talk about you also want to determine whether you want it under your own name. So I've got mine under a generic name, School of Nomads, but you might want to actually have a channel under your own name and be working based on your own name. And then you just have to make sure that people, when they come across your channel, really understand what your focus is on your particular channel. So you have to kind of choose a niche and choose what your channel is going to be all about. Then we obviously need to find some offers that would actually be able to use on that channel. So there's lots and lots of things you can promote. Some of them are harder than others. So for example, if you've got a channel that's based on say carpentry, a lot of the times you'll see that the folks are taking videos of themselves actually doing carpentry and doing woodworking and building models. If you can't do that for whatever reason, then it's a great idea to focus a channel on. So you need to figure out exactly how you're gonna build the content for your actual channel. Now the easiest way obviously is to focus it on something that you could do like slides on and it's more informational that you're actually giving across. But obviously it depends on what your hobbies are. Now, if you're a skateboarder or something, you could set up a channel on skateboarding, but just be aware that you're more than likely gonna to have to go and video yourself or, you, or whoever actually doing things outdoors and doing skateboarding. And it, technically it becomes a lot more difficult. Just figure out when you're trying to make start making money, especially when you're doing it for free, you want to try and find the easiest way to do it. And I'm going to show you a couple of methods that you can start off and do this very easily. So once you've found great offers, you can go out and find some resources that are with those offers. So a lot of these places that I'm going to show you actually give you some resources you can use and they give you ideas about the type of content you can build. And then you can go and build your channel. You can put some channel art in there. You can put a video in there explaining what it's all about. Again, that's not technically very difficult, um, but we can just put our finishing touches to the channel. Now, the second things to do is obviously we want to find out what to promote. So we'll select the type of marketing and I'm going to show you some examples of things that we can promote. So there's various types of marketing you can do on YouTube and um, some of them are more difficult than others. And I'm going to go through those various types of marketing. We're obviously going to find a product or service that we want to start off by promoting. So again, when we talk about our channels, our channels don't have to be focused in on one product or service. We can generally talk about various things on our channel, but then be promoting products or services within that particular niche. So we can go ahead and determine what kind of products or service that we're gonna start off with. We can go and research promotion examples. Now, what I mean by that is you can go to other people's YouTube channels and figure out what they're doing to promote things in their niche. What type of videos are they creating? And then you can go and get your links, and I'll talk about that later on. So the next thing is on YouTube. Let's talk about what we need to do on YouTube. So when we're actually posting content on YouTube, we want to post things like tutorials, tips, reviews, 
Lots of things that we can actually put on our channel to build up the content on the channel and drive traffic. It doesn't always have to be about selling. And that's actually probably the worst thing you do is constantly talk about selling all the time. You can talk about lots of different things on your channel that actually get people engaged. And the idea is to obviously to build up your subscribers and you get very targeted traffic when you ever talk about YouTube channels because people are searching for specific things and you're answering their query when you're actually they actually go and search. So you have a question like you may have typed in today, how to make money on YouTube for free, and then you come across this video, and then I'm answering that question about how to make money for free. And it's the same for every single niche. People have always got questions that they're trying to get answered on the internet. And the idea is to build up your subscribers, and then you can just optimize your videos. And, and again, that's not as difficult as a lot of people make out. Optimizing your video is very relatively straightforward. The more difficult thing is usually around the types of keywords you select to actually build content around. And that's usually the more difficult thing. How to actually then go ahead and optimize for that keyword is relatively straightforward. The last thing is we need to rinse and repeat. Whenever you're talking about free on the internet is key to actually getting any kind of success. You need to be providing value. You need to post consistently to whatever you're doing, whether it's social media, whether it's YouTube, whatever it is, you need to be cons posting consistently. You need to concentrate on one traffic source, especially when you're beginning out. So we're gonna talk about YouTube, only ever concentrate on building content for YouTube. And you need to think a bit long-term. So the video you make today will give you a lot of goodness in six months, in a year. It's not gonna happen immediately that you post that video. So your, your mindset needs to be on building content that's gonna be giving you good value in the future. So just think about that whenever we're talking about free. So let's just go online and I'm gonna give you some very quick resources that you can use to actually start making videos today because a lot of times on YouTube, people are trying to be too complicated when they start off. And the idea is just to make videos and put them on YouTube so that you can get your channel started off. And these are some free resources that you can use straight away to start doing that. So the first resource I'm going to show you is called Screencast-O-Matic. Now, Screencast-O-Matic, you can get it completely for free. You can start recording for free on this. It's pretty good functionality and it allows you to record yourself on webcam, but it also allows you to record your screen. Now, by recording your screen, what you can do then is when you're building content, you can do things that I just did on PowerPoint. You can record your screen like I am and just show people things on the web. There's lots of different things that you can do without ever actually needing to be on camera. So remember, there's no need to worry about actually being on camera, especially when you're first starting out. You can just do this by talking into a microphone and start giving valuable information to people around your niche. It's as simple as that. And Screencast-O-Matic is a really nice place to start. It's super easy to use. And again, it's, it's free to start recording straight away. So that's one really good resource. Now, another really nice resource is StreamYard. So StreamYard allows you to broadcast to YouTube straight away as well. And if you wanted to actually start broadcasting to people, this is a really nice application that allows you to do that straight away. Now, again, for Screencast and StreamYard, I'm gonna leave a couple of links in the description below and you can come and check these out. StreamYard's really nice because it's so easy to set up from your actual desktop and you can start streaming straight away. What it does is it posts your live stream directly to multiple social media accounts, but when you've got a free account, it allows you to do one. So we can actually broadcast directly to YouTube and then you can broadcast with your friends, you can share your desktop. There's all sorts of things you can do here and it's a really nice interface. And again, it allows you to be able to show things. You may be having a niche where you're actually unpacking something or showing people how to do something live and you could use broadcast to actually do that live. So another really, really nice resource. So just jump back over to my slides. I wanna show you some ideas for actually making money on YouTube. So the first one is affiliate marketing. So now affiliate marketing is being able to promote other people's products and then you actually get a commission if you sell their products. So there's lots of places that will allow you to actually promote their products. So I'm gonna give you some examples of that. But all we need to do is we need to find a niche that would be our niche that our channel's in. We need to pick a product and we can grab our links. It's as simple as that. So affiliate marketing is a very, very easy way to get started on YouTube and actually start making money. The second one is something called CPA marketing, which is cost per action marketing. So you're paid per action taken by somebody who actually clicks through your link. 
So you can do this for multiple products or services. They're trying to get leads. So what you're doing is you're introducing that particular service, for instance, to someone and they might have to fill in a form. They may have to phone a phone number. There's various actions they may need to do. But then once they do that, you get paid a commission once they do that action. It's a similar process to affiliate marketing, but there's many other types of service to promote. So a lot of these things are varied. There could be insurance services to promote. There could be solicitor services or lawyer services in the US to promote. Lots of different things that you can actually promote there. So it's a little bit different, but the concept is exactly the same. And the last thing, and again, this is when your channel gets really big and you're really popular, you can actually get revenue from your fans. So you can use something like Patreon, you can use something like TP, the areas that allow fans to make donations to your particular channel, or you can have super chats. So if you're broadcasting, like I showed you with StreamYard, you can actually set up a super chat and people can actually donate money to have their chats seen in the conversation a lot quicker. Now, obviously, if you're starting out, these things aren't going to be accessible at the moment. But again, these are ways that you actually make money completely for free on YouTube without any kind of needing any kind of advertising. You can get it directly from the fans. So I'm going to concentrate more on the first two options because these are things that we can get going pretty much straight away. So I'm going to show you three areas to find some of these offers. So the first two sites I'm going to show you are affiliate marketing sites. Now, Again, affiliate marketing, you get a product, you advertise that product for the vendor, and you get a commission if it sells. These two sites are slightly different. On share a sale that I'm in front of now, it's a lot of physical type products that people are actually asking you to go ahead and promote. Now on the next site, I'm gonna show you ClickBank, it's more informational type products that and digital products that people are asking you to promote. So there's a slight difference. So if you're wanting to promote physical type products, share a sale is an excellent option. There's lots of different categories here you can promote, home and garden, fashion merchants, green merchants, business merchants. So the way this works is that you just come along and, and look at some of these offers and you can join up with these various vendors and then they'll give you links that you can go ahead and promote so it's very very simple but share a sale is more for physical type products and again there's lots and lots on here so i'm going to leave a, a link to this in the description below so you can go ahead and see that another site and it's kind of one of my favorites is clickbank you know you've probably heard of clickbank before but if not it's a place where vendors put a lot of digital products on for you to go ahead and promote. Now on ClickBank, you would obviously come in and create an account. Once you've created an account, you can go into the affiliate marketplace. And once you're in the marketplace, on the left-hand side here, you see all of these different categories, and these are all different categories of products that you can go ahead and promote. So all you'd need to do is come in, actually pick any of these categories, look at the highest performers by gravity. I usually look by gravity. Come and have a look at any of these and then you would go ahead and very simply you can grab your affiliate link by just grabbing the nickname they provide when you join it generates a hop link and then this is the link that you can go ahead and use to promote the product now i have got other videos in much more depth around clickbank and i'll actually put them include them in the bottom of the description to this video so you can go and check them out but it goes into this in a much more detail there's much more depth about this but you know that's another place that you can come clickbank and both of these share sell and clickbank you can join completely for free and start looking around straight away so the last site i wanted to show you was actually a site called max bounty now i'm inside my affiliate area max bounty and there's lots and lots of different things that you can come ahead and promote in max bounty now this is a cpa network and I've, you get paid per action taken if you get leads for these various offers so this one here this paradise rent to own i would get 32 dollars a lead and if i just click into this i'll see what my leads would need to do for me to actually get paid so basically i'll get 32 dollars if every time somebody actually signs up for this particular program so it's a pretty good return if i can get people over to this program and it allows me to do uh, display ads search ads social native mobile ads so it'll allow me to do videos for this and i could put videos together based around this particular niche so there's lots of other campaigns in here and depending on what your particular niche is you can come in here and find some CPA offers that you may want to actually promote. And obviously there's things like web hosting here, organic meals. So there's all sorts of different offers that you can come along and promote. So they're kind of three places you can look. 
One is ShareSell, one is ClickBank, and the last one, if you're looking at CPA marketing, would be Max Bounty. So I'll jump back over my slides. I want to talk to you about the three secrets to success when we're talking about three free traffic sources because these are really key. Now, what I've showed you so far is we're going to put a YouTube channel together based on a certain niche. We're going to go ahead and find an offer and then we're going to build content around that offer. So I showed you some free resources you can use to build content straight away. Putting a channel together isn't too difficult and finding offers once you do a little bit of research around your niche isn't too difficult. The, the hardest thing comes when you're thinking about these three, these three secrets of success or we're ever talking about anything to do with free traffic. So the first one you need to have is patience. When you're building content for free traffic, it takes a while for that to get going. So your YouTube channel will take a while to actually get going and to have significant visitors there that actually want to go ahead and buy your offers. The only way you get over that is by actually building more and more content and rinsing and repeating. And then eventually over the next couple of weeks and months, your channel will build and build and you suddenly start getting lots of subscribers and lots more traffic to your site. So patience is a really big deal. The second thing is being consistent. So you need to be consistently posting to that channel. It also helps YouTube in knowing that your channel is an active channel and it'll start to promote your videos on a more regular basis. So consistency is an absolute key to, the, to making this work. And then the third one is providing value. If you're just trying to sell to people all the time, it's not going to work because you need to be providing a lot of value in your videos. So in my particular channel, I have a, a range of things that I do. I do lots of tips and tricks type videos. I do lots of review type videos on things like software apps, on things like new products coming out, all different types of reviews. And I'm trying to give a lot of value to people, not just trying to sell to them all the time. Just remember when you're building a YouTube channel and you really, really want to make a business, then providing value is your first thing that you're going to have to think about. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Just before you go, I wanted to talk about a product that we have called the Simple Traffic Blueprint. Now the Simple Traffic Blueprint takes you through the whole process that I've discussed on this video, step by step, from finding that niche, finding great products, building content, building your YouTube channel, all of these various aspects that you will need to actually put together a real long-term sustainable business online. So go ahead and check out that in the link in the description below and we'll take you through the whole process step by step. Again, if you haven't been over to our channel before, please hit the subscribe, the notification bell, and I'll let you know whenever I release new videos. And if you did like this, give us a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Until next time, take care.